Whether you're looking to tank your MMR or to tank for your team, or you're looking to drive a tank to work, Sergeant Hammer is your girl. One of her better maps, Sergeant Hammer can control the middle of the map and shoot the enemy immortal and defend your own. Truly an amazing set of skills. Sergeant Hammer modeled after the StarCraft 1 and or StarCraft 2 tank, which were always uh, uh, occupied by by male characters. The of course, Crusade anyone calls. can go into a tank. She's a fictional character based on the StarCraft 2 or StarCraft 1 tank, and she sieges up and becomes completely always. immobile while increasing her splash damage and her attack range. And at level 7, you can pick a talent that allows you to still move at 50% move speed while in siege mode, which is a common pick for her. But you can also go graduating range. You're still entirely immobile, but you get three ticks. You get three ticks of bonus range, giving you four and a half. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Race is increased by one. Yeah, you get three ticks over uh every 1.5 seconds so after four and a half seconds you get three bonus range which uh is really good but you need to really plant down half protection and be in the right spot because when you unseat you lose all of that this is by far my favorite you can shoot with great impunity at opponents if you have vision of them hover siege mode is the meta pick the pro pick but the highest win rate pick for pups is actually pulse detonation core mass mines and that is the most flexible to play let's say in solo queue now we're also against multiple heroes we have so many enemy heroes that kind of quote unquote counter sergeant hammer you can counter her immobility or you can counter her damage if you counter her immobility you typically go for a hero that um, uh, can uh, do a big splash damage or, or like a big single target burst damage on a location. But if you counter her attack works. damage, that is done via blinds and evasion. And they have an entire draft that does blinds and evasion. Johanna has two blinds on the basic ability. You've got uh, Artanis, he has a blind on his ult, 4 second blind. This is a 1.5 second blind times 2, that's 3, that's 7 seconds blind. Illidan has evasion, which means my physical attacks, which is the primary source of my damage, uh, doesn't hit. And even Ariel can spec into a blind at level 13. So I could be blind for Welcome to the, well, for the rest of my life. Thank, is going thank you for the sub, Ruka. So I could be very blind. And then only Tychus cannot blind me. So it is even wise, draft wise, to play for mind build here, as mind build is a source of spell damage that cannot be blinded. So we will go for the mind build. So we have pulse detonation course, tactical mind deployment. We're gonna have anything here basically. Probably mechanical know-how to be a little bit safer. Do we have a lot of slows? We have a decent amount of slows. Could do Executioner. The battle begins in ten Giant Killer. Uh, I'm gonna say Mechanical Know-How. And then Shrapnel Mines. And then we just need to choose what we do at level 1. Splash. Generally, it should be Splash and Lifesteal. But I can also see Ambush to hide for the horde but i'll do uh i'll do splash and lifesteal they can, can kind of self-sustain uh sieging and unseating no longer cost mana since the rework so you can siege and unseat as much as you want in order to have people make that mistake Uh, now we use thrusters. We can only use that every now and then, so we should definitely not use that too liberally. Now the cool thing is we can outrange towers. 
from tier one. So you can get a little free siege damage. Mind sweeping. Uh, I think I will just head here for a bit and make sure that I can help Yorel to take the solo the solo camp or protect against. Halo then also came here. Now we help to defend against the Bruiser. We still need this. this Soonish. Welcome to the Grubsters. Cool Ball Loop One is going four months strong. What are they doing? <laughs> We got first blood. <laughs> nice, we got double kill. You have a natural gift. Can we still take the cam? We're taking bottom cam. I think it's better if I just push. We don't need camp when I can push right here right now. I'm pushing, I'm life stealing a bit. Uh, we're losing that camp. I mean, this is this is too good. We're not going for the objective. We did lose bottom camp, but we got a lot of damage down here. How much did we get? We got a tower and much of a second tower. I should help team here. <laughs> nice, nice done. Oh, big root. I should go race. Oops, no, don't stun me. Okay. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Hacker. But now they could come for me. Okay, unfortunate double stun. What can you do? Uh, and she wants me to stay and hit the objective. It's not going to do much, but it'll do a bit. We'll take Pulse Detonation Core. Nice saves. We got a bit of extra damage. We are level lead, but unfortunate. Oops. Ah. Uh, miss mistake. I thought I can see away. Tank shouldn't tank. Got it. I made one fine looking crater though. Let's go. Fights are waiting. Dude, he's so low. You can jump on him and stun him. So if I had slow moving tank, I could contribute here a bit. But for now, so long as they're out of the range, I can't contribute. I can only hit the objective, which honestly is fine. Hitting objective is good. Someone's got to do it. Valiantly done, mortals. But that was not enough to kill a demon lord. I never tread lightly. For the whole.
I interrupted. Okay. Kind of baited. Now, kind of saved as well. <laughs> she missed. Stationary target. Uh, we go napalm strike. Welcome to the Gubsters. Dream Mr. One is going five months strong. Can we get let's go? Well played. Good heal. Okay. Uh, 15 seconds. Yeah, let's get the objective. Dream Whisper One. Thank you, dude. Cool, Baluk. Ruka. I have no mana. I can go to the fountain. I, will return as soon as I, can. You and all your servants in I don't have time to go to the fountain. Ouch. Oh man, let's do that again sometime. For the whole. Be warned, allies. I need no mana. I hope it goes to defensive position. It doesn't. I'll, I'll help defend. Surely I can win this, no? With help. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there is a big push stop. I think the push is just over. I still don't have gosh darn mana. They can finish it. There's a little bit of mana. Okay, finally a bit of mana. We can kind of win fights, but we're not winning the objective. Oh god. He didn't get the blind, he got the laser to punish the fact that I'm stationary. Okay. Sayonara, sucker! I need this XP globe, this regen globe. Still no freaking mana. Did I even hit that healing fountain? I did. That's nice. That's a huge comeback actually, the chase. Usually chase is bad, but this time it was good. I'll put mines behind me. 
as an escape route. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Damn. I think you're relish for the state, maybe. Okay. One for one. Ooh. No. Oh, no. Now we can't run from Illidan. The original Chase King Illidan. Damn, we're gonna lose another objective. Our battle cannot remain here. It all comes down to this. We need our 16s. Oh, thank God. Defensive positions for once. me again we lost the objective there's a lot of mines here we lost the objective. We got a bunch of kills. Everyone is dead. I don't think we could have finished. Next stun it does, I Z. Uh, I meant to Z through. Without getting stunned. Ah, uh, the keep is dead, but I'm saving the throne, the core. I hear some retreat pings. He can't get back. Core is taking damage, and less because Urel is here. So did definitely need the help. We can finally go for a heal at home. We're down a keep, but we're still up a level. That is not the kind of task one should attempt alone. We are up a level, just not doing well in the building and the objective department. I think the mines might kill him, almost. No Diablo. Diablo with the dieback. The question is, should we really be chasing? And the answer is yes, I guess. Because we got Tychus. I am Zing after them, for better or worse. What is this? Is he dying too? 
What is this effect? I will deliver this realm from your corruption, Hellspawn. Yeah, Diablo is uh, not the ideal tank against Illidan, but it can still work depending on the location. Diablo is missing a lot of uh, stun uh, potential. Uh, a lot of stun opportunities, I should say. But he finally got it. So it's very important to fight within walls. What's his build? Yeah, auto attack build. That's the problem. Auto attack build against... Actually... This is good. Maybe overpower would be better here. Strap no mines, reduce armor. Yeah, he could have queued him into fort. We are back earlier before full Illidan is back. Though I fear the amount of camps they'll be sending our way. If they dare to contest. I don't need to uh, uproot. Okay. Now we should do objective. At least we got one more kill. Nice ulti actually by Cass. The stand is one. Super useful against laser. Okay, the core is defended, and we defended this for now. mine there's still two mines i live vicariously through the mines look minus 20 armor that's me we got the objective finally though oh no we first we finally got the first objective but at what cost please demonstrate your southern american accent while playing the tank proceeding it's time to blast these critters out of this hemisphere. We'll blast this Prudos back to where they came from. And next time, I guess. Cool game, anyway. I think it was a nice decision to go Holy Word Salvation. Full stacks and piercing line as well. Sick. We did what we could. Hover tank seems so strong, would it have made a difference? It might. I think I had a well-founded reasoning for going for the mine build. But it wasn't a mine. It was a tomb. Welcome to the Grubsters.